Race number six then at Chartin on Saturday is the uh, first leg, sorry, of the year, it is the first leg of the second double trio, class four over the 1,400 metres. The field headed by Mike Static is pretty impressive winning course and distance last time out from Barry 11, gets barrier two this time round. Speed Fafe is a two-time winner this season, Zone D uh, won three starts back and placed on his last two. Unicorn Baby won from the front last time out, gets barrier 11 here, he had barrier 13 last time though. Thunder Strike, good fifth uh, on debut, gets from the 12 up to the 1,400 uh, metres, so of power could roll four, particularly given the fact he's drawn barrier number 14 behind Mike Static last time out. Win win 33 also behind Mike Static last time, and son of Magfi has been placed on his last two, gets the inside gate here. Alexi Bedell in the saddle, Tom. Yeah, well, Unicorn Baby last time out uh, got all favours and was able to uh, dictate off the front from an awkward draw. He's drawn awkwardly again, but uh, he's likely to come across with solar power from gate number 14. My aesthetic should be pretty much a, a lock for the trail, really, out of uh, gate number two. Uh, sprint forward for, across from Aiton. Your Peach Blossom's drawn awkwardly. Light of Wanchi is uh, drawn awkwardly uh, again as uh, well. Zone D will probably get back from uh, gate uh, number four. He was well back, but uh, made good ground out wider last start. OK, well, let's start off with the win of uh, My Ecstatic. I think it's pretty a solid one, uh, Paul, again. It's just a question of the horses that finish behind him now with the weight pull, sort of seven pounds, whether they can turn things around. I don't think they can. I think this horse won really nicely. He drew wide. You can see he had to do a bit of work. Uh, the 1,400 metres uh, looks absolutely ideal for him. Uh, he's got barrier two this time. I know he hit, he's got that extra bit of weight, but he's a, a horse who uh, weighs in at over 1,200 pounds. So I don't think the weight's going to worry him at all. And I just thought he won pretty impressively here. Yeah. I think out of sort of out of, outside the four or five main chances, the race drops away. And I think he'd be able to just get that perfect run through from uh, gate number two. And uh, he won with uh, quite a bit in hand there, I thought, my aesthetic last time out. Yeah. All right. What about Unicorn Baby then, uh, Tom? Maybe get some competition from the lead, but uh, left alone, he could be dangerous. He could be, and to look, uh, he had that was his race last uh, time out. Uh, found the front, and they couldn't uh, peg him back in the end. He was in the market at uh, eleven to one. He, he pinched a break in the straight, but he's going to get a bit of company from uh, Solar Power. Actually, did to lead at one point of his race uh, last uh, time out. And they're going to have to come across from uh, gate at number uh, uh, eleven with him. So, look, uh, I just think. It might have been his race last time, Paul. Yeah, I tend to agree. He, he did win, to, to be fair to the horse, he did win from a wide draw last time, but he was left alone, and there is a bit of extra pace in this race. All right. So what about Thunderstrike and Prime Star, uh, Paul? This was Thunderstrike's uh, debut. I thought there was a bit in this. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Uh, I made it a horse to follow coming out of this race, so I think he's run into a good one of my ecstatic, but I've kept him in there as the Quinella horse. Uh, he hit the line strongly, and the last little bit part of this race, I think, was the best. He uh, really hit the line well, and he was a little bit uh, caught up for room as well. So thought it was a good run from him. Uh, Prime Stars only had the one start, so I'd like to see him again. He still raced uh, with a, that inexperience on his side, I think, uh, Thunderstrike, just with that uh, one start uh, there. But uh, like the way he finished off, Prime Stars actually been back to the trials at Happy Valley and won a trial there. He saved all the ground along the inside, and I thought looked quite good in doing so. OK, what about Son of Macfi then, uh, Tom? He's come close um, a couple of times in his last two starts, but still looking for that maiden victory here in Hong Kong. And the format of this race is stacked up well. The horse in the red cap up near the speed there is exuberant. He came out and won on uh, Wednesday night. And Noble Desire out wider in the uh, purple and uh, yellow. He won uh, during the week as well. He was just to the inside there. He's been consistent without striking, but I've left him out this time, Paul. I've got him in, but only on a minor line. He seems to run on, doesn't matter how far the distance. He's done it over 1,200, 14 and 16. So, look, I've got him in on a minor line. All right, but the uh, the favourite here, Paul, is Zone D for John Size and Joe Moreira. I haven't got him in. I think uh, Mike Static, uh, I really like the win here. I think he can go on and, and win once again. So he's on top uh, to beat Thunderstrike. He's only had the one start. Son of McPhee, the one we just talked about. And Solar Power, look, he's going to go across and be on the pace for a long period of the race. And I, look, I think he's better than um, the bottom of Class 4. I think there is a win in him there. So 1, 7, 14 and 10. One and three, my EQ. I thought my aesthetic would be tough to beat after that last uh, winning performance. But I think also Zone D, he's uh, coming into this uh, with uh, that other good run under his belt behind Unicorn Baby. Got a long way back and ran on. Solar Power's drawn awkwardly, but should give you a sight for a fair way. And Thunderstrike uh, makes it in as well. So one, three, ten and seven. I think my ecstatic probably is the one to beat, but I'll take a chance with Son of Macfie off that inside gate as well. That's uh, race six, class four over the 1,400 metres.